the like button is free make sure you hit the like button it's the only way that youtube gonna push my videos so i can finally get the following that i deserve and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe so you can get all the videos that come out and make sure you hit the notifications bell and that way youtube will let you know every time i put something out It's a street called The Strip. It's like Vegas. And not because of the glitz and glamour. And not because of the amazing locations that, you know, bring elements from places all over the world. But this strip got some different attractions that ain't attractive as they used to be. One thing the two strips do have in common is prostitution being legalized but it's by different means though you know Vegas is done through laws and stuff but here it's done with the law of the streets see back in the day when pimping was pimping you know Cadillacs and Lincolns and fur coats and platform shoes and all jerry curls and all that stuff you know all that Don Juan the Don stuff. This was the Mecca. If you could get your girls on this strip, you made more money than everybody else in the game. And like the other strip, this strip brought in plenty of tourists. You know, not so much from out of state and all that, but the white men from the north side would run down here, you know, after they got out the office and would be quick to hand their money over out of the window of their foreign fancy cars. Now over time things change and politicians could no longer look past the strip. So they had to clean it up. And they did this by opening a motel that was as nasty as you could imagine to give everybody a place where they could see and uninterrupted. So you met your girl on the strip then you made your way to the motel. Now nowadays the game has changed so much that social media then gave the girls a way to market they self. You know, no pimp needed. No standing on the corner and mini skirts needed. You know, just pose on IG and a nice little, you know, thirst thirst trap selfie. And wait for the simps to message you. You know, some are ready to pay a couple bands up front, knowing that most likely they're gonna take the money and dip, but these boys got money to spend, so they don't trip. So where does that lead the old school girls, the ones who too raggedy for social media, too worn out, too tired, too abused, too through? They stuck on the block, waiting for their moment, waiting on the guy that's desperate enough, but they can't make any money between the cops and the crackhead pimps who end up robbing the Johns eight out of ten times. You know, it's a brutal game. And they never had too many happy moments. Now there's a woman who walked these strips. And when folks seen her, they never seen her before. And they want to ask who she is and where she's from. And sometimes they almost happy to see a new face. Happy to see somebody else who made the mistakes they made. It almost makes them feel like they ain't alone out there on the strip. And the women who, you know, do try to talk to her, they try to warn her away, away from the lifestyle. And some because they're scared she'll take their clientele. And some because they genuinely feel sorry for her. Most of them just worried about their clientele, though, to tell you the truth. She always just laughs at the girls, you know, never really replies, just nods and smiles and laughs like they're telling her jokes. And they usually assume she just how stupid or both. And she walks around late into the night, you know, the time when nobody out, even the freaks, you know, they found a corner to go seeing in. And she look for a victim. She look for a man. She look for the man. And nobody knows why they say, and nobody knows why she do what she do. 
There's some rumors out there, though. You know, some people say that she a government agent sent to the streets to lure in people and kidnap them and infect them with COVID-20. And some say she worked for rich folks who need organs and sent her out there to get them. But what did the other women say who been walking the strip for the longest? Who done seen the worst of the worst? They say that she only come when she been called. And every now and then, one of them guys get rough with the women. And yeah, they used to it, but some guys go, you know, just a little bit too far and hurt one of the ladies real bad. And they go to an alley and break a mirror and look into one of the broken pieces and call her name three times. Nice to meet you. And it's not known what they call her. It's a secret between the women of the strip. But some say that they call her Bloody Mary. The only problem is once you call Mary, once you call her, all the men that hurt a lady gotta pay. I ain't talking about with no money. The only thing Mary respect is blood.